What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out Botchamania episode 468. Y'all know, love me some Botchamania, so we gotta check it out, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. We're getting right into this one. Let's see what this episode has to bring for us. Really, I gotta do this? And hold on, y'all. Y'all may have heard it, but I wasn't able to hear nothing because my headphones wasn't on. That's crazy. All right, all right. Um, Joseph Schwartz, you can follow me at Gears of Schwartz. You're botching watch a meeting. You're botching <laughs> watch a meeting. Here comes Bro, Michael Cole definitely has no problems firing up top dollar, bro. The hell up. What? <laughs> the same, whatever. <laughs> oh, he overshot it. It's just uh, <laughs> the dude is just smiling and just. Having a great time as he gets proceeded to get beat up. <laughs> I can barely see anything. He's gonna fall through it. Yeah, it's too thin. Rollins top rope. Oh shit! Oh my god! Dang it! I was sure I had him that time. Keep asking stupid questions, and you're gonna find out what I did to people who talked too much when I was locked up. Talk too much. You never shut up. I said you talk too much. I said you never shut up. Permanent. Yeah, you can hear them call it now. He wasn't in this match. I believe that Liv Morgan would be the one considered to be off a rocker. Roman Reigns, écoute moi bien. Demain soir, t'es chez moi, t'as va neck. I knew it was something wild, bro. He could get away with that because obviously we was on watching it on the American Network. So a lot of people who didn't didn't know, but at the same time. Is if you knew French, or you know, uh, you know, what is what is the language that they speak in Canada? Is like a mixture of French or something else? I'm not sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not I'm not trying to disrespect, you know, saying or uh, the area they were in in Montreal. So please, please let me know. Isn't isn't it a form of French? I'm not sure. Just let me know. <laughs> Yep, you can see the, yeah. It's the camera work, bro. <laughs> we beat you down, we lay you down, and somehow you keep coming back for more. So how about this? How about the next time we beat you down, we make what happened at Extreme Rules look like child's play? <laughs> Speaking of child's play, Tonight, after Dawkins get cook, gets cooked, and I enter 
The money. money. <laughs> this guy got me so flustered right now. Hey, I'm mine too. Don't worry, I'm mine too. <laughs> he definitely is about to say money in the bank. Hey, bro, we haven't got to that pay per view yet. Come on. I, I, I promise you, man, I hate you. I hate you so much that I can't even speak right now. But I'm going to go into the elimination chamber. <laughs> and I am once again. <laughs> gotta win this now. <laughs> you got to now. You're gonna be the United States champion. <laughs> yeah, he definitely went to the side. <laughs> he was born. That's very oh, smart. Oh, he kicked the camera, man. Let's just do it. This is... Hey, shout out. To, this sounds like a a, <laughs> a woman's brunch match. <laughs> Mimosa and champagne. It's going to be very messy. Boot slam the fucking party, bro. It's time to fuck the fans. And I'm so sorry for kicking you in the dick on my way into the ring. So fucking sorry. I don't know if anybody saw that. Shout out to the Ugla camera crew for fucking taking dick kicks. A kick to the dick couldn't stop them from doing their job. We appreciate you, bro. Your entrance was good, <laughs> his was better. This is the Jericho Appreciation Society's time. But well, you are right about one thing. Ricky, you are absolute. Uh, annoying. Absolutely Ab delusional. Absolutely, I like this hat. No comment, man. No comment. Ricky, I need you to listen to me. Last Wednesday, I beat you. This Friday, I'm not just going to beat you. I'm going to expose to everybody that believes in you that you are nothing more than an absolute... <laughs> oh, man. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, weighing in at 260 pounds, Damn. Iron Savages is Bronson. Hold about a second. Iron Savages is. <laughs> Wait a now Listen, I'm a product of the New York City public school system. I don't think that was said correctly in love with Dasha. <laughs> and she's my friend. I think there was a poof on there. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard it. I wasn't going to say anything, though. NC Geary, Tony Schiavone, we're all just normal men. <laughs> we're all just innocent men. Yes. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Ruby Soho. <laughs> nice victory right there for the Jericho Appreciation Society. The winners of this match, the team of Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. Dasha, Dasha went out to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nonetheless, yes, a very nice victory for the Jericho Appreciation Society, Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. Oh. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So the finally here, annoying for you. If you're at the show, they obstruct the view. <laughs> Having a bad opinion ain't enough by itself. Bring it to a show. Annoy everyone else. <laughs> nerdy. Nerdy signs. Black <laughs> on green, you can read this well. Never heard of this game, but hopefully someone will. These geek opinions, they must assert. When security ejects them, it's gonna hurt. Mario. Zelda, even Star Ocean 2. <laughs> Bailey's gonna tear them up and yell at you. Oh, nerdy. Nerdy <laughs> sign. 
dirty. <laughs> they seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm sorry. Look, uh, you know, just got a bit carried. Hey, look, Botchamania. Yeah, the guy you're calling stupid headlined WrestleMania, your dream. So you want to stomp him with your stupid Super Mario boots? You know, call Luigi and Princess Loadstool and. Ooh. Okay. 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 Oh! <laughs> Which one of y'all tripping? Oh! Table didn't break. Whee! Table didn't break. <laughs> oh, man. Hit her head. Whoa! Table. That, those are one of them strong tables, bro. Door didn't break. Probably not going to break. Door didn't break. <laughs> like the video and get it to a million likes and if you want me to never touch grass again and only make videos in my room then put in the comments i am the table uh yeah that that works i am the table <laughs> thank you for watching unacceptable <laughs> for the first time since we took over portland 1084 days ago we are on the road to raise the bar once again a liar he's a liar Okay. Of course, it's your attention to detail that impresses me most. <laughs> well, let's talk about uh, why we didn't do a reshoot here. It's on the go home episode of Impact. Homicide is going to beat Johnny Devine. It's um, it's supposed to have Homicide pinning Johnny Devine when Devon is going to break up the pin. Holy! But Devon is late doing so, what? so Homicide has to just sit up and not continue the pin, even though he's hit his finisher twice. Ooh. And Meltzer's asking in the newsletter, "Why didn't you guys reshoot this?" Fair question. It is taped. That's a great question, but I have no idea. It's amazing. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. <laughs> they might be very pretty to look at, but those girls can fight. 51? 52, Jay. We are 52. And oh, I guess when you win that many matches, it's hard to keep track. I would think so. Right? Yeah. The sign is right you know, there. I'm not going to argue with her, but according to my bookkeeping, she's actually 50. There it is. I think she just saw it. 52. That's it. Here we go. He's in trouble. Oh, okay. oh my God. I already don't like it. There is absolutely no way. You gotta be kidding me. I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that often. <laughs> uh, I like, I think that's the, the top dollar clip, the top flopper clip. From a few weeks back. <laughs> the audio of it, at least. Oh, man. Love, love me some. I wonder if it's loaded. They are childish. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me, I have to say. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called NWO. But you've never been a New World Order of any kind, have you? No power. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of B culture being casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. <laughs> have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should <laughs> I say, Mr. Steve M. Borden. Not his real name, you idiot! He's a loser, Marge. Dump him. What? I traveled the world in the seven seas. I am watching you through a camera. Damn. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> no damage, no damage, no damage. That's literally what it was. <laughs> All right. What? But I'm you! Boom! Wow, if I had a nickel for every time... Ray, why lost all his momentum due to poor lighting? I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened That's twice, funny. right? This <laughs> was making it different. It's totally different. It's a rap song. It doesn't sound anything like theirs. And just to prove his point, Vanilla breaks it down and sings the dings. Oh, Told right. you. I see that. Told you. This isn't any good. Well, That's the way theirs goes. Ours goes. Mm-hmm. Hello. It's pretty much the same thing. That little bitty change. Well, not the same thing, <laughs> but you know. The There's ghost. Ours goes. Little bitty change. It's not the same. Not the same. Not it's the same. Definitely the same. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> That's adorable, bro. That is adorable, bro. I love he was a loner. He didn't exhibit... The only heel tendencies he exhibited were being a foul-mouthed guy who would jump you from behind or do anything to win. He didn't run from anybody. He didn't back off from people. He didn't... He wasn't a smart ass that insulted people, especially insulting the fans. He wasn't, as I said, he was a loner. He wasn't a guy that depended on stooges or teammates or partners or whatever to, to handle some of his fighting for him like a true gutless, cowardly heel. He was just an unsavory fucking guy that people started admiring and looking up to because he <laughs> wouldn't take shit off anybody. And he had a man's voice and a man's attitude and a badass way of dressing and looking at things. And it was anti-establishment and anti-authority. And take this job and shove it. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that was horrible. Your wish is horrible. You're horrible. You're an irredeemable monster. Oh, what, what took you so long? God, <laughs> Is an awesome cheat he made. Doom easy to beat the end. Doom's freaking sweet. God mode is an awesome cheat. <laughs> Pretty much. Yo, what's up, Freeze Army? And welcome to the Piano 47 Challenge in Paris. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244. And for this challenge, we're going to use all the default items and use and use the default location at the red carpet entrance. So what you need to do is uh, push the pin that's on the piano. That's going to attract the attention of the uh, the auction staff member in the opposite room. He's going to come in to investigate what that noise was. He's going to put the pin back up on the piano, and he's going to lean into the piano. Then once once uh, he's done that, you need to exit this little closet here, and then drop the staff member on his head, just as I'm about to do here. And then once you've done that, you've got the piano 47 challenge done. So that's going to do it for you. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe here if you want I like for, more, that. for more challenges. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I know that a man does not know what he is truly made of. This is, this Until is, he has met with adversity. This I remember is the first a crazy time I uh, promo. Oh, yeah, <laughs> It was junior year of high school, and boy, oh boy, was I a speed demon. I loved whipping around my beautiful blue Camaro. And We've I seen this on a promo uh, after speed Joe's uh, video. And prom hit. Me and my football buddies, we showed up in our Letterman's, and we hooked up with all the fine hotties Long Island has to offer. Baby, let's go for a spin. We hopped in my beautiful blue Camaro. <sighs> I got to driving, and she got to... distracting me. We then hiked the <laughs> And we went roaring, spinning off the road. Boom! I tasted pennies in my mouth. I didn't know why. I was confused. I was concussed. And then off in a distance, police sirens began to roar. There it was, Dragon. Adversity. In that moment, I found out what type of man I am. You want to know who I am, Dragon? I'm the type of guy who grabbed Liv's lifeless body and switched seats with her. So when the cops showed up, 
I wasn't the one driving. In this life, there are winners and there are losers. The history books don't care how you get the job done. You want to talk about exposing me, dragon? Tonight, I expose you. I am a scumbag. And I'm damn proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is a scumbag. <laughs> Fuego. 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 Wagu. Fuego. Pacho. Mania. Fuego. What the fuck? Oh, man. This was a great one, man. Love, love some Bacha Mania. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I, I I will say this: MJF's promo ability is still at a uh, an elite level, <laughs> and he knows how to make you just want to hate him, and that's that's pretty fantastic. But comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part from this Botchamania video. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me as always. Roll to 150k, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world, and. You're in the clutch world heavyweight champion. Appreciate that kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.